Today could be the day that you die. We don't know how long we have to live. Everyone dies at some point. To me, that's what makes life precious. If we had it forever, we would take it for granted and it wouldn't be as special. The fact that we die at some point makes this time so precious, so valuable. Remind yourself of your mortality. Remind yourself that um, at any point you could go and to recognize that you need to be living the life that you want and a meaningful life at that. Currently, if you watch my videos consistently, you're probably someone within the business space or who wants to be in the business space. And because of that, I am assuming that you're somewhat of a hard worker. You're someone who dedicates their time into educating themselves, who dedicates their time into um, expanding themselves, working, expanding your business, scaling your business, which is amazing. It means that you probably have really big goals and you're setting out to achieve them in the right way. But oftentimes when you are that focused, when you are that determined, when you're that type of person, you're always forward thinking. You're always thinking what's the next best thing. You know, you're excited when you achieve a goal, but then really soon after there's another goal that becomes created. And oftentimes because we get that rush from achieving the next level and the next level after that, we fail to recognize that we are living our dream life in the current moment. The best thing in my opinion to do is to strike a balance between, okay, goal setting, achieving the goals I want to, but also recognizing that the goals I wanna achieve, a lot of them I already have. There's probably a lot of financial goals you wanna achieve. Like for example, let's say you wanna hit the 10K a month mark consistently within your business. Awesome goal to have. Um, but why do you like really think about why you wanna hit that financial goal, right? It, it's not the money that you want. The money is not the end. The money is a means to an end. And that with that money may come um, freedom and with that freedom of finances of time you may think think about where that would go maybe that would go to spending more time with your family maybe that would go to treating your best friends um, and some of your family members for a nice meal or little things that they'd want to be that time would go into researching things that you love or spending time doing self-care going to the gym more giving yourself nutritious foods etc identify why you want to hit that goal and ensure that on a daily basis you're actually integrating some of that into your life a lot of the times the reason why we want freedom why we want to scale our business to a place where we have that freedom is because we want to have that time and energy to give to ourselves and to give to the other people around us connection is so important so recognizing that this is something you want and recognizing that this is something you can have in the current moment the same as you write a to-do list to get all the things done in your work life so that you can achieve certain goals Write a to-do list on the things that you want to do on a daily basis that integrate you living your best life. Ensure that you on a daily basis are living the life that you want to live, that you are working towards a dream and you are getting encouraged and excited about that dream in the future, but you are being mindful in the present moment and grateful for what you have. Key ways to do this is one, a gratitude journal. Everyone talks about this, writing down what you are thankful for every single day, multiple things and having it different, be different every day will put you in such a great state. Even not writing it down, but thinking in your head every single morning when you open your eyes, think of three things that you're grateful for, that you're excited for that day. It will change everything. Do that. Another thing that I really like that I think I made this up. I don't think I like heard it from anyone. Correct me if I'm wrong and if this is like in a massive mindfulness book or something and I just stole it without knowing but something that I do is on a daily basis I ensure that I'm doing at least one thing that I would do if it was the last day of my life every day I make sure I do one thing that is truly important to me so for example like if I didn't do if all I did was work today I will make it a point to call my mom and talk to her on the phone and um, you know, tell her I love her, hear about her day, tell her about my day, because that's something I would do if I knew oh, yeah, I was gonna die today, I would pick up the phone and call my mother and tell her that. Just making sure you do something, even if it's so small that you would do 
on that last day. Treat yourself to your favorite meal. Giving yourself, you know, a pep talk in the mirror. Go out and talk to people. Go out and walk by the ocean if that is what makes you feel extremely fulfilled and is what you would want to do in your last moments. Go out and do that and start living the life you want now. And I'm not going to get into manifesting and creating the life you want, but a lot of that is going to be benefited from doing this as well. I tell this to my students all the time, but you will never be truly satisfied financially and goal-wise and life-wise until you decide to be satisfied and you start living as though you're satisfied. Once you shift your mindset into, hey, I have enough, I'm living the best life that I want. That doesn't mean that I'm dropping all my other goals and that I'm um, growing and constantly working on a daily basis. That's not what it means. But once you decide, hey, I have enough, like this is fulfilling. I love the people around my life, like focusing on the great things and, and feeling like you are living your best life. That is when you will live your best life. There is not going to be a number that you hit and then all of a sudden you feel like this is your best life. It's a mentality. It's a, it's a mindset switch. So recognizing that and trying to make that mindset switch currently is what's the most important thing to do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Have a beautiful day.